For centuries, philosophers and scientists have grappled with the question of consciousness. What is it? Where does it come from? And can we even measure it? Traditionally, consciousness has been seen as an all-or-nothing phenomenon. We're either conscious or we're not. But a new wave of research is suggesting that consciousness is actually more like a dimmer switch than a light switch. It exists on a spectrum, with varying degrees of awareness. This new understanding of consciousness is being driven by advances in neuroscience. Scientists are now able to use sophisticated brain imaging techniques to track the activity of neurons in the brain. And what they're finding is that there are distinct patterns of brain activity associated with different levels of awareness. For example, studies have shown that the brain exhibits different patterns of activity during wakefulness, sleep, and dreaming. This suggests that these states represent different points on the spectrum of consciousness. And it's not just about external stimuli. Our internal experiences, such as thoughts and emotions, also play a role in shaping our consciousness. Researchers have identified two broad categories of consciousness, connected consciousness and disconnected consciousness. Connected consciousness refers to our awareness of the external world through our senses. Disconnected consciousness, on the other hand, encompasses our internal experiences. So, when you're lost in thought or daydreaming, you're experiencing a form of disconnected consciousness. This new understanding of consciousness has far-reaching implications. It could help us to better understand altered states of consciousness, such as coma, anesthesia, and even mental illness. It could also lead to the development of new technologies for assessing and monitoring consciousness in patients who are unable to communicate. And perhaps, one day, it could even help us to answer the age-old question of whether or not machines can be conscious. The science of consciousness is still in its early stages, but the new findings are starting to paint a more nuanced picture of this most fundamental mystery. Consciousness is not a binary state, but rather a spectrum of possibilities. And as we continue to explore this spectrum, we may just unlock some of the deepest secrets of the human mind. For millennia, humanity has pondered the enigma of consciousness. What is this spark that ignites awareness, that allows us to experience the world, to feel, to think? And where, within the labyrinthine folds of the brain, does this magic reside? Today, science is inching closer to unraveling this riddle. But the answer, like the brain itself, is not a simple one. Two main theories dominate the landscape, each offering a unique perspective on the cradle of consciousness. The first theory, known as the orchestrated network theory, proposes that consciousness is not confined to a single region, but emerges from the synchronized activity of widely distributed brain areas. Imagine a grand orchestra, where each neuron plays its instrument, and the conductor, through precise timing and interplay, brings forth the symphony of consciousness. This theory finds support in studies showing that during conscious states, various brain regions, including the prefrontal cortex, Thalamus and hippocampus exhibit increased communication and synchronized firing patterns. Disrupting these synchronized rhythms, through anesthesia for example, can plunge us into unconsciousness. Theory 2. The Global Workspace The second theory, the Global Workspace Theory, places the spotlight on the prefrontal cortex. This region, nestled at the front of the brain, is believed to act as a central hub integrating information from various sensory and cognitive areas. It's like a bustling marketplace where ideas, memories, and perceptions converge, forming the tapestry of our conscious experience. The global workspace theory emphasizes the role of attention in shaping consciousness. Only information that reaches this central hub, capturing our focus, becomes part of our conscious awareness. Peripheral details, like the hum of the refrigerator, fade into the background remaining unconsciously processed. The Great Debate These two theories, though seemingly at odds, are not necessarily rivals. They might represent different aspects of the same phenomenon. Perhaps the orchestrated network lays the foundation for conscious experience, while the global workspace acts as the stage where it unfolds. The debate continues, with ongoing research exploring the intricate interplay between these brain regions and their role in generating consciousness. Beyond the theories. While the hunt for the seat of consciousness continues, the journey itself is revealing. It's pushing the boundaries of neuroscience, challenging our understanding of the brain.
and reminding us of the awe-inspiring complexity of the human mind. One day, we may pinpoint the precise neural correlates of consciousness. But for now, the mystery remains, a testament to the boundless potential of the human brain and the endless quest to understand ourselves.